the weather information network data system winds portal key facts about vanadium bharat kosh portal what is vibhav and the tank munition the finance minister and agriculture minister will inaugurate the kisan rain portal on september 19 i2u2 group recently announced a new joint space venture nipa virus outbreak the annual general meeting and biennial conference of asia pacific forum rashtriya vigyan puraskar The finance minister recently launched the weather information network data system Winds Manual. The manual provides stakeholders with an in-depth understanding of the Winds portal's functionalities, data interpretation and effective utilization, empowering farmers, policy makers and various agricultural entities to make well-informed choices. It was launched in July 2023 by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare to leverage advanced weather data analytics to give stakeholders actionable insight to make informed weather decisions on agriculture. Crucial weather related information and data will be available to farmers through WINS. The portal also shares ministry's parametric crop insurance scheme along with non scheme parametric insurance industry the programs for crop risk mitigation and disaster risk reduction and mitigation being run by the insurance industry the wins initiative is laying emphasis on setting up a strong network of weather stations through this initiative the target is to establish a wide network of weather stations at the block and gram panchayat level This extensive network of weather stations will enable accurate monitoring of weather patterns, effective planning, risk assessment and timely response to meteorological challenges. The goal is to bridge the gap in weather information availability and empower decision makers, farmers and stakeholders at the grassroots level. Vanadium, a critical raw material for many industrial applications, has been found recently in the sediment samples collected from the Gulf of Kamburg in Gujarat. It is a chemical element with the symbol V and atomic number 23. It is a silver gray ductile and malleable metallic element. It is harder than most metals and exhibits good corrosion resistance against alkalis and acids. It was discovered by Spanish mineralogist Andres Manuel del Rio who named it erythronium but eventually came to believe it was merely impure chromium. The element was rediscovered by the Swedish chemist Nils Gabriel who named it after Vanadis, the Scandinavian goddesses of beauty and youth. The English chemist Henry Enfield first isolated the metal in 1867 by hydrogen reduction of vanadium dichloride. One of the primary uses of vanadium is as an alloying element in steel and other metals. Vanadium steel for example is known for its strength, toughness and ability to maintain hardness at high temperature. It is commonly used in tools, cutlery and structural materials. In vanadium flow batteries, vanadium is used to create a reliable, safe and stable solution for the storage of renewable energy. In medical sphere, vanadium is used to treat a number of ailments including diabetes, heart disease and high cholesterol. 
The Union Minister of Civil Aviation launched a e-wallet payment option on Bharat Ghosh portal. It is the initiative of Controller General of Accounts, Ministry of Finance, Government of India. It provides one-stop services to deposit any fees or fine or other money into government's account. It converges all civil ministries or departments of Government of India. It aims to provide 24 into 7 year-round electronic services to deposit money into government account using internet-based payment technologies to the users at the doorstep through web-based portal. It thus leverages the e-governance commitment of the government to provide e-efficient, e-effective, e-excellent government anywhere, anytime. The e-wallet will be particularly used for processing of fees for various regulatory approvals in Bharat Ghosh portal. It acts as a prepaid wallet that would enable registered users to add funds in advance. Initially, only NEFT or RTGS model will be allowed for adding funds. The users would also be able to generate receipts and chalan instantly. The process will enable generation of receipts and chalan instantly, eliminating the problem of failed bank transactions. The facility will also be available to registered Bharat Ghosh users, wherein a unique wallet ID will be generated for each user to manage the wallet transactions. Six hundred indigenously manufactured self-neutralizing anti-tank mines known as Viber have been recently inducted into Indian Army. It is a self-neutralizing anti-tank mine designed and developed completely indigenously in a joint venture with the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO in India. Viber is a point attack anti-tank munition. It is designed to provide a mobility kill against all enemy armored vehicles. The munition is under production by the Kalyani Group for the Indian Army. The anti-tank mine is made up of new age plastic which gives it adequate strength and durability to withstand the requirements of storage, handling and operating in varying field conditions. The munition can be laid both mechanically and manually. A host of safety and actuation mechanisms have been incorporated in Vibo to make it safe to handle lethal against targets and reliable. The integrated explosive mechanical and electronic safety measures ensure utmost operator safety. The munition also incorporates an electronic anti-handling and anti-lift device that stays active for 120 days once armed. The Finance Minister and Agriculture Minister will inaugurate Kisan Rain Portal on September 19. The portal helps farmers avail of subsidized loans under Kisan Credit Card KCZ. It was developed in collaboration with multiple government departments. It offers a comprehensive view of farmer data, loan disbursement specifics, interest subvention claims and scheme utilization progress. It fosters seamless integration with the banks for more focused and efficient agriculture credit. The Kisan credit card scheme was introduced in 1998 to issue KCC to farmers on the basis of their holdings for uniform adoption by the banks so that farmers may use them to readily purchase agriculture inputs such as seeds, fertilizers, pesticides, etc. and draw cash for their production needs. It was developed by the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. The scheme was further extended for the investment credit requirements of farmers, allied and non-farm activities in the year 2004. The scheme was further revisited in 2012 with a view to simplify the scheme and facilitate the issue of electronic Kisan credit cards. September 17, 1948, the princely state of Hyderabad merged with India.
September 18, 1967, Nagaland adopted English as the official language. September 20, 1878, the famous Madras newspaper, The Hindu, was first published as a weekly in the editing of GSS Iyer. The I2U2 group recently announced a new joint space venture that aims to create a unique space-based tool for policymakers, institutions and entrepreneurs. It is a grouping of India, Israel, the United Arab Emirates and the United States. The group was initially formed in October 2021 to deal with issues concerning infrastructure, transport and maritime security in the region. Originally named the International Forum for Economic Cooperation, it was also known as the West Asian Quad at the time. The group held their first virtual meet in July 2022. This unique grouping of countries identifies bankable projects and initiatives to tackle some of the greatest challenges with a particular focus on joint investments and new initiatives in water, energy, transportation, space, health, food security and technology. It aims to mobilize private sector capital and expertise to achieve a variety of goals including modernizing infrastructure, advancing low carbon development pathways and improving public health. India reached out to Australia to procure monoclonal antibody doses to combat Nipah virus outbreak in Kerala. As per Indian Council of Medical Research, India is expecting 20 more doses soon. India currently has the antibody doses available for 10 persons only. No one in the country has been administrated the dosage so far since it needs to be given at an early stage of infection. Monoclonal antibodies are laboratory-made proteins that mimic the behavior of antibodies produced by the immune system to protect against diseases and foreign substances. An antibody attaches itself to an antigen and helps the immune system to eliminate it from the body. Monoclonal antibodies are specifically designed to target certain antigens. Monoclonal antibodies are specifically engineered and generated to target a disease. They are meant to attach themselves to the specific disease-causing antigen. An antigen is most likely to be a protein. For instance, most successful monoclonal antibodies during the pandemic were engineered to bind to the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2 virus. The President of India inaugurated the annual general meeting and biennial conference of the Asia-Pacific Forum of Human Rights in New Delhi. It was founded in 1996. It has created a strong and united platform that brings together national human rights institutions from all corners of Asia-Pacific. It addresses some of the most serious human rights challenges in Asia-Pacific region. It has 17 full members and 8 associate members. India has been a full-time member since 1996. To be admitted as a full member, a national human rights institution must comply with the minimum international standards set out in the Paris Principles. National human rights institutions that partially comply with the Paris Principles are granted associate membership. Decisions about the admissions of new members to APF are made by Forum Council. Fundamental goals of APF is to promote establishment of independent NHRIs in the Asia-Pacific region and to support the members to do their work as effectively as possible. <music> Government of India has come out with a new set of national awards in the field of science, technology and innovation known as Rashtriya Vigyan Puraskar. The objective of this award is to recognize the notable and inspiring contribution made by scientists, technologists and innovators individually or in terms in various fields of science, technology and technology-led innovation. It shall be one of the biggest and highest recognitions in the field of science, technology and innovation in India. Scientists, technologists, innovators working in government, 
private sector organizations or any individual working outside any organization who made distinguished contributions in terms of path breaking research or innovation or discovery in any field of science technology or technology led innovation shall be eligible for this award people of indian origin staying abroad with exceptional contributions benefiting the indian communities or society shall also be eligible for the awards the awards shall be given in following four categories vigyan ratna award will be recognized lifetime achievements and contribution made in any field of science and technology vigyan sri This award will recognize distinguished contributions in any field of science and technology. Vigyan Yuva SSB This award will recognize and encourage young scientists up to the age of 45 years who made an exceptional contribution in the field of science and technology. Vigyan Team This award will be given to a team comprising of 3 or more scientists, researchers, innovators who made an exceptional contribution working in a team in any field of science and technology Sri Narayana Guru was a philosopher spiritual leader and social reformer in India he led a reform movement against the injustice in the caste ridden society of kerala in order to promote spiritual enlightenment and social equality his famous quote was one caste one religion and one god for all men guru organized an all religion conference in 1923 at alway advaita ashramam which was reported to be the first such event in india It was an effort to counter the religious conversions era our community was susceptible to and at the entrance of the conference he arranged for a message to be displayed which read we meet here not to argue and win but to know and to be known the conference has since become an annual event organized every year at the ashram there was a rumor about narayana guru that he is a god but in reality he is not a god he is an indian social reformer the statue of narayana guru cannot be treated as a deity the kerala high court observed